the Dell G15. First off, the Dell G15 features an AMD Ryzen 7 5800 processor with 8 cores, 12 threads, and a maximum peak frequency of 4.5 GHz. For graphics, you get an NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti giving you baseline RTX support and solid performance, so you can run just about any modern game on this laptop. Finally, you get 8GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD in this configuration, which is a pretty good setup and you can always make some upgrades down the line as your budget allows. The display on the Dell G15 is a 15.6 inch panel and it comes with full HD resolution at 1920 by 1080 p This model includes a 120 Hz refresh rate by default, though, which is great if you want a smoother experience for gaming and in general. It's just 250 nits of brightness, so you won't want to use it outdoors, but it's not like you'd want to carry this around everywhere anyway. Just like every other laptop on this list, the Dell G15 has a typical 720p webcam, and it doesn't support Windows Hello facial recognition. It also doesn't include a fingerprint sensor, as is the case with most of the laptops we've looked at so far. Design-wise, the Dell G15 definitely has a unique look compared to other laptops on this list. The chassis uses a combination of silver and black, but the gray portion has dark speckles sprinkled throughout, giving the laptop a bit more identity without being overly flashy. You'll also see a red G logo on the right side of the laptop, and a textured pattern on the lid does make it obvious this isn't a work laptop. The Dell G15 isn't particularly portable, weighing 5.55 pounds and measuring nearly 27 millimeters in thickness at its thickest point. You do get a good supply of ports with this laptop, though. It has one USB Type-C port, three USB, 3.2 Gen 1 type of ports, HDMI 2.1, RJ45 Ethernet, and a headphone jack. Thunderbolt support would have been almost impossible with an AMD laptop, plus even Intel laptops at this price often skip out on it, particularly those focused on gaming. Overall, the Dell G15 packs fairly powerful specs and it's a great gaming laptop, with the added benefit of looking pretty unique compared to others on this list. If that's what you're looking for, then this is one of the best cheap laptops you can buy right now. The Lenovo Legion 5 The GPU is arguably the most important part of a gaming PC, and for some, it may make sense to sacrifice CPU performance in favor of a better GPU. The Legion 5 is a great option right now if you want a more powerful GPU to play more demanding titles. This model of the Lenovo Legion 5 is a couple of years old, but the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor inside is no slouch, with 6 cores and 12 threads, along with speeds up to 4.2 GHz that should ensure great performance in just about any modern game. To go along with that, you get an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics with 130 watts of power, which is very hard to find in this price range. You also get 8GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD in this configuration, but you can always upgrade later if you need to. The display is about what you'd expect in this price range, and it's a 15.6-inch panel with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and it has a refresh rate of 120Hz. It's not overly impressive, and the color coverage isn't great, but for gaming on the cheap, it gets the job done. You could always use an external monitor later if you need that upgrade. Design-wise, this model of the Lenovo Legion 5 comes in phantom blue, or as you might call it, black. It looks sleek enough, though it's not exactly as thin or lights a laptop as expected. It's between 22.5mm and 25.75mm thick, and it weighs 5.3 pounds, which are in line with other gaming laptops of this size. There's no shortage of ports on this laptop, either. It comes with two USB Type-C ports, Four USB type of ports, HDMI, RJ4-5 Ethernet, and a headphone jack. That's one of the best setups you can find on any laptop in this price range, and you can plug in just about anything. The Asus TUF F17 Immersion is essential to gaming, and nothing aids immersion more than a large screen on which to play. The Asus TUF F17 provides precisely this, in addition to a considerable amount of capacity to run your games. It's powered by an Intel Core i5-11400H processor, which has 6 cores, 12 threads, and a boost speed of up to 4.4 GHz, so it's far from a slow processor. For graphics, you get an NVIDIA RTX 3050, which can use up to 7 to 5 watt of power with dynamic boost. It's a pretty powerful GPU that should be able to handle most modern games without much of an issue. 
but you'll need to change some settings in more demanding titles. Additionally, you get 8GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD, giving you a decent amount of memory and storage for your games and other files. The F17 also features a 17.3-inch Full HD display, which has the standard 16 to 9 aspect ratio. It also has a 144Hz refresh rate allowing games to appear even more fluid assuming the GPU can keep up. Keeping in line with what we've seen so far, the webcam, Above the display is a 720p camera, and there is neither Windows Hello facial recognition support nor a fingerprint reader. Unlike other laptops on this list, the F17 makes little effort to conceal its gaming-centric nature. Large TUF branding and four dots in the corners on the lid make it clear that this is no ordinary laptop, and large exhaust vents make it clear that you're loving a gaming laptop. In addition to its angular designs, the keyboard deck is backlit with a single zone of RGB illumination. This 17-inch laptop is one of the heaviest devices on this list, weighing 5.73 pounds, but thankfully is not the thickest measuring 23.9 millimeters at its thickest position. As for ports, you get one USB Type-C port, three USB 3.2 ports, HDMI 2.0, RJ4-5 Ethernet, and a headphone jack. Thunderbolt support would be welcome, but considering the wide selection of ports you get out of the box, this is great already. Overall, for those looking for a cheap 17-inch gaming laptop, the Asus TUF F17 is one of the best options out there, and it's one of the more affordable options as well. The HP Victus 15 The most recent Victus 15 is equipped with the most recent Intel processors and NVIDIA graphics, but it's also customizable, so you can get a configuration that better suits your requirements. The HP Victus 15 is powered by Intel's 12th generation core processors, beginning with a Core i5-12450H that can boost to 4.5 GHz. Also included is an NVIDIA GTX 1650 GPU, 16GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage, which is adequate for entry-level gaming. The wonderful thing about this laptop, however, is that it's highly configurable. You can get a Core i7-12700H and an NVIDIA RTX 3050 tie for less than $1,000. As its name implies, the Victus 15 features a 15.6-inch display with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and a full HD resolution of 1920x1080p. This display has a refresh rate of 60Hz by default, but there are enhancement options available, including a 144Hz panel and a 300 nits display. You should consider these upgrades and weigh them against the other available configuration options to remain under $1,000 as well. Unfortunately, the 720p webcam on the HP Victus 15 lacks support for Windows Hello Facial Recognition. In the absence of a fingerprint reader and biometric authentication support, you will be required to sign in with a PIN or password. Design-wise, it is available in either black, white, or performance blue, and all three colors are subdued but not dull. There is no RGB flare on the laptop, and even the Victus logo has a professional appearance, neither of which inherently indicates that this is a gaming laptop. The machine is significantly thinner at 23.6 millimeters and somewhat lighter at 5.06 pounds. As for ports, you get one USB Type-C port, two USB Type-O ports, HDMI 2.1, a gigabit Ethernet, a headphone jack, and a full-sized SD card reader. That's a setup that covers all the basics and focuses more on important gaming specs like HDMI 2.1 and fast Ethernet. However, the USB ports aren't extremely fast, and there's no Thunderbolt support, which may be a bummer to some users. Overall, the Victus 15 doesn't necessarily offer the same performance for the price as premium laptops, but it's still a very capable gaming laptop, and the streamlined design makes it a very viable option for gamers who also need to bring their laptop to school or work. The Acer Nitro 5 the Acer Nitro 5 is, for good cause, one of the most popular budget gaming laptops available. Typically, these laptops offer a very capable gaming experience at an affordable price, and this is one of the newest models with excellent specifications to get you started with gaming. The Nitro 5 is equipped with Intel's 12th generation core processors, specifically a Core i5-12500H with 12 cores and 16 threads that can boost as high as 4.5GHz resulting in a powerful performance for both everyday tasks and gaming. 
With up to 95 watts of power, the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti should be able to run the majority of modern games, though you may need to adjust the parameters in more demanding games. Additionally, it includes 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD, both of which can be enhanced in the future if more memory is required. Even with its powerful specs, the Acer Metro 5 also manages to come with a pretty good display at a 15.6-inch panel with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The resolution is Full HD, but most importantly, it supports a 144Hz refresh rate. This ensures that games can run much more smoothly, particularly more lightweight titles where the built-in GPU can push more frames more easily. The webcam is typically sacrificed on inexpensive gaming laptops, and this model is no different. The Nitro 5 has a 720p webcam, and there's no Windows Hello support, neither facial recognition or a fingerprint reader. Some gaming laptops can have pretty gaudy designs, and the Nitro 5 definitely doesn't hide its roots, but it's still somewhat classy. The chassis is mostly made of sleek straight likes, but there are red accents on the corners near the rear exhaust fans. 4-zone RGB lighting also illuminates the keyboard, and the transparent edges on each key make the RGB lighting very apparent, so this can be a flashy laptop. Something else that's common for cheap gaming laptops is a beefy design, and at nearly 27mm in thickness, the Nitro 5 definitely keeps that up. It also weighs 5.51 pounds, so portability isn't a major focus as you'd expect for a gaming laptop. Overall, this is frankly a fantastic laptop for the price, giving you lots of power, a great screen for gaming, and a solid selection of ports. As far as cheap gaming laptops go, this is certainly one of the best.